Data itself isn't valuable, but it's got potential. The question is how to unlock the value of data. What we're really doing is turning data into information to manage a very, very complex integrated power system. This is an industry that used to move in decades. Now it's months. When we intersect cyber with every sector of the economy and truly drive value into supply chains, we are showing a better way. Implementing Industry 4.0 in Australia is making great strides, but there is much more to be done within our organisations and in our partnerships together. We can have a manufacturing sector that does not just survive, but it thrives by transforming itself and by taking advantages of the possibilities of new technology. When we're out on the field, that's just one of the ways that we use the, the technology. But we took the opportunity in doing this project to say, all of our suppliers, we want everything electronically transferred. We've created this uniquely human thing, and it's called free time. The train that I described this morning can, can only generate one of 8,000 uh, messages. No human being can process all of that information, so you need some intelligence behind decision making. The Swinburne Test Lab will be the first Australian almost autonomous Industry 4.0 pilot plant that's based on 3D printing of composite parts. Digitalisation is not a future concept, it's not something to worry about in five years time, it is already happening now.